Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Codextral here and today we're going to be talking about having slow Wi-Fi and trying to rectify that. Now, a couple things you want to take in consideration is if you have slow internet in general, even when you plug in an ethernet cable and it's something that, you know, is not satisfactory, maybe you should go to your internet service provider and see if there's any faster internet plans available. Yeah, I know it's something that you don't want to spend more money on, but you know, you got to sacrifice something to get better, right? Uh, the sacrifice your wallet to get something better. Now, let's say that you have decent or you have fast internet. When you do plug in your ethernet cable, you know, everything's fast and whatnot. But when you plug in your Wi-Fi, you're not seeing the same results. And to a point, you're not going to see the same results when it comes to a gigabit speed. So you're going to have to lower your expectations a little bit. But let me show you some ways how to fix that. Um, one thing to uh, take in consideration with Wi-Fi is where is your Wi-Fi box located at? Is it in the basement, which is not ideal to have? Um, if you can put it in a uh, floor above so the signal can try to reach all four corners of the home, um, awesome. If your house is big, then consider a mesh network. But let's work with what you have. And um, this software that we are using is called NetSpot, and it's completely free. You can download it on um, Windows. You can download it on Mac. Um, if you want to pay for some of its features, awesome. Um, you get to do this net survey stuff, but it is completely free. And net survey will allow you to... Um, run a heat map on your home and see, okay, is this particular area in the home good signal it's receiving or it's not? So that's what the survey is for on here. Anywho, once, uh, once you download this, the first thing I want to do is I want to click this button where it filters and groups all of the Wi-Fi's into one channel. And when you pay attention to the channels, on a 2.4 gigahertz band, it goes from 1 to 11. Now let's look at my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is penis, and I am on Wi-Fi 6. So on Wi-Fi 6, or excuse me, on channel 6, you get to see all these other networks are running on channel 6, and that could run into some problems. So when you group up all of these Wi-Fi devices um, or the Wi-Fi router and you see all of these uh, other devices are running on the same channel, it's basically they're screaming over each other. So if you get a walkie-talkie and your Xbox or your PlayStation or your laptop or whatever it is, is the other walkie-talkie, you know, it's it wants to send that conversation or sending and transmitting that data from one to the other. Now, when you add more people who have walkie talkies, now they're just screaming all over each other. So it's in an Xbox live party of people screaming over each other. So we want to make sure that we want to have less, um, um, other Wi-Fi routers on the channel. So what you can do is go to your, um, go to the GUI of your router and log in, and um, if you don't know how to get to it, what you can do is open up a command prompt, type in IP config, and it will show you the default gateway, which is 182.168.2.1. You can find that information at the bottom of that router. There'll be a sticker with some more information, the IP address, and the username and password to log into your Wi-Fi gateway. Um, so once you get to your router, and I know all routers are different, all the GUI, uh, the web interface is different, but consult your manual, but just for, um, just look for wireless or Wi-Fi, and I'm going to have to log in again. Wireless and wireless security, no. Um, you're going to be looking for your channel. So when it's on auto, ideally, it the way that auto is supposed to work is like, okay, well, I see that there's all these, I see that my neighbor is using the same Wi-Fi frequency or channel I'm on. So the router is supposed to set it into a different channel. But obviously, 
auto doesn't work as much. And this is where you want to start selecting every channel one by one. Click save, then run a speed test. Is it better? Is it not better? Um, cool. And keep running test after test after test after test until you see a faster speed and lower latency. The, the channels I strongly recommend you stay away from is one, six, and 11, um, because those are the default channels that the 2.4 gigahertz band that are always selected on. So when you see one, you see a bunch of other Wi-Fi routers that are on one. When you see six, you see a bunch of Wi-Fi routers that are on six. And if you see 11, you see a bunch of Wi-Fi routers are on 11. So you don't see, you don't see two, you don't see, well, you see some three, you see some four, but you don't see five, you don't see seven, eight, nine, or 10. Well, I mean, there's some 10, but you, you see the pattern. It's less populated by routers that are using those frequencies. So I strongly recommend of picking anything other than one, six, and 11. Now, when it comes to Wi-Fi six, it, it, it's the same method of what you want to do. Um, where's, uh, where's my Wi-Fi six? So this is my Wi-Fi six, and I am on the channel frequency one, six, one, and that there is some other Wi-Fi networks that are using one, six, one. So I want to spit, uh, uh, pick a specific one that is not populated. So obviously this one, the uh, 157 is really populated. So I'm gonna definitely stay off of that and find uh, um, ones that, you know, are less populated or does not have, um, or other Wi-Fi's are not using that frequency channel, then choose that. But um, you can choose, uh, uh, pick one by one by one by one and run a speed test if that makes sense. Um, another thing that you need to pay attention to is, okay, so you see my Wi-Fi here. You see that there's a whole lot of traffic going on. We're not going to pay too much attention to that. But this is my specific Wi-Fi and same thing with, uh, where, where's penis? Where is my penis? <laughs> Okay, I I didn't think of that one through, but here's here's my penis. So, <laughs> damn it, um, trying to be a little bit professional in the video, but here's here's my Wi-Fi, right? Um, I see that there's a whole lot of traffic versus all this other graph, so that means that my computer is near. Um, the Wi-Fi. Now, let's just say, for for example, the Jensen, that's my Wi-Fi, and it clearly shows that there's not a whole lot of traffic going on with that, uh, with that graph, probably because maybe my Wi-Fi is underneath the basement, or I'm on the other side of the house. Um, you know, um, in, in a way to boost the transmission signal, let's go back towards our Wi-Fi and it'll say channel bandwidth or not channel bandwidth. Um, there should be a transmission or a power, excuse me, a power uh, transmission and it'll say 20%, 40%, 60, 80, and 100%. Now, my router doesn't specifically have that, but if yours does, make sure that it's at a hundred percent so it the 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 Wi-Fi can transmit um, into that longer distant range. Um, but um, if that doesn't help out, then obviously move your router, um, get a mesh network, or just go ethernet cable and you're gonna have to run a really long cable um ethernet is the most powerful thing that you could connect to and it's the most promising but um obviously that's not going to be the case in most people's cases because they won't have that freedom to be you know to roam around with their laptop or or their phone or whatever and it makes sense um i'm just saying that ethernet is better uh, when it comes to connectivity 
But I hope that this video is helpful. I hope that you learned something from it. If you do uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel, um, there'll be more tech tutorials. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's. Um, also, also, and um, um, be before I let you go, I also forgot. Um, one last thing, uh, when it comes to percent, if, uh, Normally, this should show uh, the percent if of the power Wi-Fi. So right here. Okay, so right here, the percent. If it's lower than, let's say, 70%, um, then you're going to start seeing some problems. Right here, 65. It's still okay because it's close to 70. But once it starts dropping down more, then that's a problem. Anyways, that's uh, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Took too much of your time. Take care.